As the city of Idaho Falls prepares for the opening of the new Costco wholesale store, many may feel nervous about navigating that bloody roundabout situated right smack dab in the middle of the road. It seems these engineering marvels have been known to strike fear in the hearts of many, particularly those who may not have experienced the sheer exhilaration of not having to stop at an intersection before. We know it may seem scary, but let's take a look at why a roundabout is much safer than a traditional intersection, and how you can help overcome your fear of this strange, twisting creature. The first roundabout appeared in Great Britain in 1907, and was originally intended as a traffic island for pedestrians. This circular invention soon made its way across the pond in the early 20th century, but fell out of favor in the 1950s. In 1966, both America and England adopted a new mandatory give-way safety rule, creating a pathway for the modern roundabout. There's Big Ben kids, Parliament! <laughs> Roundabouts have been shown to be much safer than traditional intersections because they give drivers more time to judge and react to other cars, reduce the severity of crashes, and reduce fatalities by up to 90%. They also offer 75% fewer conflict points than traditional intersections and cost much less to operate. So, let's take a look at the best ways to get you safely through that long and winding road. Rule number one, slow down. Seriously, take your foot off the petrol and tap that brake a bit. It's going to make your trip through the roundabout a whole lot easier if you take it out of warp speed and remain in control. Rule number two, and this is the big one, always yield to anyone on your left. It doesn't matter which lane they're in, always yield to anyone on the left. What does yield mean? It means give the right of way to anyone approaching on your left, even if you need to come to a complete stop to do so. So to recap, slow down and always yield to anyone on your left. It really is that simple. Still wondering how to sort out which lane you should use during your brief time in the roundabout? Well, it seems that this particular beast is a two-lane affair and has been known to leave drivers in a quandary as to which lane they should choose. Once again, the answer is quite simple. To safely use a roundabout, pay attention to the advanced signage, plan ahead, and remember to always yield to anyone on the left. One should approach the roundabout in the right lane if you intend to make a right turn and complete the right turn at your first opportunity. If your desire is to go straight through, you may approach from the right or left lane. Then stay in that lane until you complete your journey through the roundabout. To make a U-turn or take what would be a left turn at a traditional intersection, remember to stay in the leftmost lane and follow that lane around until you reach your exit. Then follow the curved line out of the roundabout. There should be no reason to stop unless it is for bicyclists, pedestrians, or unyielding drivers. So, now that you are safely navigating this circular creature, what could possibly go wrong? Well, a fire truck or police vehicle, of course. Now what do you do? Simply pull over and let them through, but not in the middle of the roundabout. If you hear sirens before you enter the roundabout, slow down and pull over to the right side of the road. If you are already in the middle, continue through the roundabout and pull over to the right side of the road as soon as it is safe to do so. Genius! Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know to safely navigate this two-lane creature. Remember, slow down, always yield to traffic on your left, and don't be scared. It's only a roundabout.